So I'm currently taking a data science class this semester at my alma mater. My professor is hosting a review session today to review concepts that we need to know for the machine learning project. Basically done with my project, but I want to make sure that I did everything that she required. So let's head to class. Made it to campus and I picked up some apple cider from Ileano's and it's actually really good. They put whipped cream and cinnamon on top of it. So I'm gonna grab my stuff and 
try to find this classroom. I'm not familiar with it because I don't remember this classroom even existing when I was on campus as a student and undergrad. So <laughs> wish me luck. <laughs> I'm back to the car. The lesson was kind of helpful. She kind of, um, she explained some questions that I kind of was asking myself because I couldn't figure it out when it came to my project. So hopefully when I go back and sit down to work on my project today, I'll be able to get through it a little further than what I had been. So yeah, class is over. And I thought I was gonna get a ticket because I don't have a parking pass. But um, when I had pulled into campus, I saw the the parking like the parking ticket lady putting cones down on the other side of campus. I was like, okay, let me go ahead and get to class, get up out of here, <laughs> and get off this campus before I get a ticket because it's like thirty five dollars. All right, I'm back home. And so for this project, I made a prediction model using linear regression to predict the possibility of having chronic kidney disease based on lab results. And the cool thing is that my model is 96.6% accurate. So I have high confidence that I did my programming right <laughs> and that you know it's actually a successful model. Um, so now I just have to film my presentation, which I guess I'm gonna do once I start rambling. Um, and I have to actually explain all of my code and every decision that I made to my code. Okay, so all that code just to say that I got a model that is 96.62% accurate. And uh, this is called a confusion matrix. So this explains um, the accuracy scores. So yellow is my true positives. This purple in the upper right are my false positives. This purple in the bottom left is my false negatives and the green is my true negatives. Uh, so similar to MLS, where we would kind of like do research or whatever, or our validation studies or correlation studies, stuff like that. Um, did the same thing in data science. So I thought that was just cool. But if you were curious about the lab test that I actually used to do this analysis, um, let me pull it up. So I had age, I had blood pressure, specific gravity, urine albumin, urine glucose, urine red blood cells, urine white blood cells, urine white blood cell cast, urine bacteria, which were all in a urinalysis test. And then I looked at blood glucose and blood urea, blood creatinine, which would have been in a CBC, in a CBC, a C, which would have been in a CMP. And then my data set also had information on um, disease history either they had or did not have hypertension diabetes mellitus coronary artery disease appetite edema and anemia and then based on all those values um the collection of the data also included whether they had chronic kidney disease or not and so i've taken all of those lab tests and basically analyzed them using machine learning to decide 
you have a patient in the future and then they meet some of these, either they have uh, abnormal results, um, it tells you their potential risk for either having chronic kidney disease or not. So I thought it was really cool. <laughs> So I've actually done a lot today. I finished my project and um, I got a new certification. And I know I haven't vlogged in a while. It's just been a lot between school and work. But I wanted to give a quick work update because today I'm doing a little work from home. So I had to attend a class sponsored by my state's Department of Public Health. And I just took the exam to get certified in packing and shipping class A and B biological agents. So that's exciting because it gave me something new to learn at work. I'll also be training in AFB testing soon or eventually. <laughs> but uh, a requirement is that AFB techs have to be certified to ship agents. So it's just one less thing that I have to worry about when that time comes because this cert is good for three years or something, something like that. Later on after I finish recording, I'll also have to sit down and complete the rest of my CE credits for my certification maintenance through Media Lab. Um, because I was putting it off for so long, but now time is flying by and I'm actually coming up on my time to renew. So <laughs> I have to get it done now before I forget again. So um, I'll be working on that probably for a few hours just to get the rest of my credits done. So I can check that off of my to-do list. But other than that, things are going okay. By the time you see this video, I would have made my one year anniversary of working full time in microbiology. So that's exciting. And I still work PRN as a journalist, and that's been nice because I get to change things up for variety at work. So, and keep up with those skills. So yeah, I do thank everyone that pays attention to this channel. It's gotten a lot of positive feedback. Um, I always do hope that the videos are helping somebody out there, but sometimes I kind of worry that the content will be taken the wrong way by other lab professionals. To my surprise, I actually was recently asked to speak to an MLS program about study strategies for their coursework and I was actually very nervous about this because one I get just I just get nervous about talking but two um, possibly more of like an imposter syndrome kind of feeling that I don't really know enough yet about the field to really speak to people about the field in a, a public speaking type of setting but um yeah it, it, it was fun <laughs> And the students were pretty engaging, which was also nice because I wasn't just sitting there talking to myself. Uh, they were pretty actively talking and, and listening and talking back to me. So uh, it was kind of hard to gauge if they liked the presentation or not, <laughs> but hopefully they found the information helpful to help them continue on in their studies as a CLS major. And so, yeah, this year I've also been precepting a lot and it's been very fun. I don't really talk at this job as far as like interacting and socializing goes but i really look forward to the days that i get to present even though i'm literally the least experienced person in micro at this lab basically saying that i don't know everything but it definitely helps me figure out what things i might need to refresh on when students are asking me questions especially when they're trying to link the theory together so it's definitely helpful when i'm training somebody and they're asking me questions um to kind of see what I don't know and you know we work through it together to figure out the answers but overall I think these experiences are helping me figure out what I want to do long term and I know one of those things are definitely going into academics like lecturing one day in the far future when I try to envision you know and I think it's just because when I try to envision myself in different paths education is a path I can definitely see myself in one day I lost my train of thought but I guess enough about that. <laughs> I just wanted to check in because I haven't done a vlog since May, so it's been a long time. Thank you for watching and um, hope you guys are doing well. Feel free to comment in the box below how you're doing. Do a little check in. Let's check in with each other and keep this little small community growing. So I'll talk to you guys later.